and welcome to Grandad's Reviews. Today I want to answer a question I got in the comments uh, regarding what's the difference between the pixel format depth of field scale and the film format depth of field scale. And this is a setting you can set in your Fuji cameras that shows a different depth of field on the distance scale on the back of the camera. That's that blue line. Let me show you where it is for a start. So if you go into menus and into the AFMF menu and you've got depth of field scale and if you go into there you've got film format basis or pixel basis. So we'll fit, pick the uh, field film format basis for a start and what this really relates to is how you're going to view the final image and how you're going to actually produce the final image. So if you're going to do it as a, let's say, a picture or a framed picture or a canvas or even a billboard or something like that, um, then you would use the film format basis because it gives you a perceived more depth of field. And this is all down to what call the circles of confusion. Plenty of videos on YouTube that will uh, explain what they are. But it's the size of the out of focus bokeh in reality. And if you're going to view a picture on a wall or uh, a billboard or something like that, you can actually have larger circles of confusion that look like they're in focus. So you see a, a greater depth of field. But if you're going to view the finished image on a computer screen or on uh, social media or something like that, then because they're of a higher definition, a higher quality, that if you used that same depth of field, it, it wouldn't look right. You wouldn't have the same depth of field. So you can then use the pixel format depth of field scale, which narrows that down so that you don't go beyond the, the depth of field. It doesn't do anything to the final image. This is just something for you to see on the screen when you're taking the actual image. So if I show you, so we're on the film format here and I've got it at f16 and I'll focus over there and you can see our depth of field is just before 10 feet and all the way to infinity. So if we change that to pixel format, photograph aim at the same bit, see the depth of field now is between 15 foot and 30 foot. So the, the depth of field that the camera is telling you you would get is less in the pixel format as it is in the film format. And I so say this is just really a guide for you to use um, in your photography. So if you're a street photographer or something like that and you do zone focusing, I'd use the film format because you've got a greater depth of field and you're not too worried about how it looks on screen in that outer focus area because the main focus will be on whatever you're photographing in the street. And the same with landscape. Uh, you can have a perceived greater depth of field um, and you can see what that is going to be on the back of the screen. But if you're doing something, say, in a studio or that's very critical uh, on screen, and even if you're just pixel peeping on your monitor, then using the pixel format may be better for you so that you'd, you can see how narrow that real depth of field is. And that's really the only difference. It is just a guide. It does nothing to the image. There's nothing baked in. It is just a guide on the back of the screen for you to use for your own purposes. So that's my look at the difference between pixel format and film format on the depth of scale on the Fuji camera. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified, hit that bell button. Until next time, see you later.